deadly Halloween floods from a couple of years ago, emergency responders have learned a lot of lessons. Austin police are no exception. Today, during the initial flood response, I got the chance to look inside the department's operations center. Now, we can tell you this about that place. It is uh, ongoing, open tonight. The law enforcement nerve centers where police commanders decide where to deploy patrol officers in a fast-moving emergency like a flood. That, of course, can change by the minute. One of the recommendations from the 2013 Flood After Action Report was to have more city staff trained on a software information sharing system. It's called Web EOC. It allows police and other departments to instantly update one another on a single live web page. You know, everybody, everybody can see it. If you make a phone call, you're talking to just one person to relay information. And then just that permanent record that, you know, whether it's five minutes later or five hours later. Or and each entry is numbered and logged for future analysis. And tonight, APD is using a real-time tracking system to help them deploy those officers where they're most needed. And earlier, on top of regular patrols, police also called in dozens of detectives to work flood-related duties.